what do you have to say for yourself? You have to make Pokemon battle to toughen them up. Yes, yes you do. Uh, if you're playing the original version of the game, we got the PP up here. I believe you want to look this way, and here you can find a Calcium. Right, well, let's move on again. I believe that up is the way that I actually want to go, but we're interested in get, getting all of uh, the trainers. So we're gonna get this guy. I've always, I always go with bird Pokemon. I'm dedicating myself to them. So, as you might expect, Cube is out front again. Bird Keeper Robert would like to battle. He's got four relatively weak uh, Pokemon. He's got Pidgeys out front. And I don't like Pidgeys. They don't give me enough experience. We'll go with Shockwave. We need to start worrying about our PP again. Shockwave should still finish off the Pidgey, but not necessarily the Pidgey Odo. Down goes Pidgey. Give me the experience. In comes Pidgeotto. Alright, speak of uh, the devil, I guess. Sure. Even though it's not that tough. Alright, Spark! Please kill it! It did! Got a little bit luckier there. I think it's one lower level. That might have helped as well. And Spiro's now coming in. Pretty much same strategy. Because it's still a normal flying type. We'll go with Shockwave. That should still be enough to take out the Spiro. An electric type. So effective on this route. I'm not entirely sure why, but they really want you to level up your electric type because we're going to be encountering a lot of water dungeons from this point forward. Alright, Spiro's coming in. I should still be fine. We'll see what a spark can do against you. It might be a little bit more defensive, though. It's barely more defensive. All right, and it goes for a fury attack. How many attacks are you going to get off there? Seriously? Four? Like, could you not? That'd be great. All right, Sonic Boom. Yeah. Down goes the, the fury. Down it goes. Give me that experience. That is enough for another level up. Anything good? Speed's always good. HP helps a little bit. I would like more special attack as always though. And trying to learn rollout. Do I want to make room for rollout? Honestly, no. Um, honestly, no. Honestly, no. Ah, jeez. I mean, it can be good, but like Cube can't last long using rollout, you know? So ultimately, I'm gonna have to say no to it. I'm gonna have to say no, uh, because Cube can't last five turns, you know what I mean? It, if it's hit with anything, it, 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 it dies too fast. So I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. It's a good move, but I'm gonna say no uh, for this Pokemon, so. Yeah, we're gonna stop playing it. That hurts, though. That hurts. It's a good move. I like it. Just not on Q. Not on the Voltorb. Out of power! Actually, I have, like, an infinite supply of power with Q here. Thank you for noticing, though. Any to, anything to say about this? I wish I could fly like Pidgey and Pidgeotto. Sure. You know, you could teach them fly. Over here, we can get this post. Look, look, look to the left of that post! And I think they're referring to that over there, where we got a PP up. And if you're playing the original version of the game, you got a calcium. Uh, if you head over here, original versions of the game, we'll have a PP up waiting for you down here. We do not. All we have is the PP up, that one PP up, and that's it. Uh, now, I do have access to uh, the patch of grass over there. You select to switch items in the items window. Uh, but for the time being, I think I'm going to avoid that. And we'll just take on the rest of the trainers, and then we'll come back. And we'll come back. All right. Here we can find this guy. I'm not gonna lose. Not when the wind's blowing my way. Is the wind blowing your way? Is that something I should check? Like lick my finger and check? All right, Perry would like to battle. He's got a spear. So I have cube. Did heal cube. That was probably necessary. Didn't give it the ether that it probably needs. Should have just used the more attack for that. But I still think we'll be fine. Still think we'll be fine. Down goes Spiro. Give me the experience. And he's about to switch to Pidgey. I will be fine. Out comes Pidgey. Incoming Shockwave. 
Oh, it's got a quick attack. See there, there's a legitimate strategy. Use a quick attack and, and you'll see that the damage kind of adds up over time. And you might stand a chance of actually killing my cube. Maybe. Probably not that. About to switch to a Pidgey. Are you going to have any Evolve types today? Because they would probably help. All right, another Shockwave should finish the job on the other Mario Pidgey. Down it goes. Down it goes. Give me the experience and another Spearow. He's not going to have any Evolve forms, is he? That's pathetic, really. They're all high enough level. Is he running an unevolved challenge? There's a lot of people running an unevolved challenge in this game. I, I don't get it. I did it because I have experience. You guys are just terrible. Hey, look! A Spearow. Not as bad as the Gastly's yet, but uh, still pretty bad. And down goes yet another Spearow. It's still super effective. You would assume that by the fifth time he would catch on, but it would be wrong. Player defeated, Bird Keeper Perry. The wind turned! I'm sure it did give me more money than that next time. I'm beat. I guess I'll fly home. You could have also used fly in battle, but you didn't. Went back to the Poke Center in Vermilion to get the PP back, to be honest with you, but also to get the new Pokemon in our party to take on this guy. What are you looking at? I forgot this guy was here. Just randomly amidst all the bird trainers. There's a biker. His name is Jared, and he's got coffins, and only coffins, which means I need Mr. Jensen. I'm not risking taking on coffins, to be honest with you. There's no way. These guys self-destruct and can kill anyone. Let's make sure I can take them out. We will get lots of experience for killing them. It doesn't seem like much, though, because Mr. Jensi is so damn high level these days. Just make sure that Psychic hits, and we are good to go. Down it goes. Mr. Jensi, you are so good. You are so damn good. At this point, yes, it is faster to uh, fly back to Vermilion or to Lavender, just for the record. I did go back on foot, though, because the game's still counting my steps for something important. Do you remember that we do have a sand true back in the, uh, the daycare center? Oh, and I got a critical hit. Fantastic. I don't think that's going to be enough to get to the next level. Just short. Just short. And down goes Jared. Dang, strip gears. You don't have very much money considering how tough your Pokemon were. You know that? Get lost. Uh, as a result of me uh, going back, this guy did move, so you can't go behind him. There's not really that much of a point of going behind him, though. Because you can essentially go the same way over here, where we have made it to Route 14. And we can take on this guy. You need to use TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. That's not always the case, but that is sometimes the case. <laughs> Especially in the case of Mr. Jetsy. Carter would like to fight. He has a Pidgey. And Cube has its PP back, so you really don't stand a chance. I'm still going to use Shockwave, though. And it's got a quick attack. And it got a critical. I was about to say, that is a lot of damage. That is way too much damage. Still down goes the Pidgey. Because it's super effective. Like I said, that's your best strategy against my team, is quick attacks and hope for the best. Oh, Doduo is coming out. Doduo can be bad for me, but Spark should do the job still. Down it goes. Ooh. I might never look at Doduo's the same after what happened last time, but I think we'll be fine. I think. Damn it, more special attack plays, but I'll take the speed, I guess. They're so damn fast already, though. Pidgeotto coming in. Gonna have to use the higher end. What level is it? 28? Spark might not do the job here. And that scares me. Nope, it did. Barely though, I'm sure. Down goes Pidgeotto though. Down it goes, give me the experience. And down goes Carter. Not good enough quite yet. No, no you're not. Maybe you had that Dodrio. And what do you have to say about yourself? You know that you're entirely optional and just part of a maze, right? 
we have some HMs, right? Pokemon can't forget those moves easily. In the original versions, they couldn't, but now they can. Which makes me want to use Cut a little bit more. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, we've taken on all these guys. We're almost there. Route 14, west to Fuchsia City. I don't want to fight that guy just yet. I want to fight this guy up here. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle, but they're not going to be effective. So many birds. So many birds. Now it comes Pidgey. I hope you have an electric type by this point. If you don't, like, put this place off until you can find one. Let's go for Shockwave. Oh, another quick attack. See, that's what the regular damage is. That's what I'm used to. I'm probably still going to heal the cube after this, though. It should be fine by itself for the time being, hopefully. Unless it throws something unless he throws something really tough at me. Spiro is not really tough though. Out comes Spiro. Out goes the shockwave. Down goes Spiro. Yeah, the bird trainers, they're so plentiful around here. Once again, you have three options for them, I would say. You have Pidgey again. You have rock, ice, and electric. Electric is the way to go. Of any of them. Hey, another quick attack. Like I said, that's your best option. That is your best option. Pretty much because it's also effective against water, and there are going to be a ton of water type Pokemon in this game. As a result, electric is not the best in the game. Uh, but it is probably the most effective in the game. All right, we're gonna need a spark here. And I'm gonna need to get a little lucky. It's a little low level, so I might be able to finish it. Oh, it just lives. Just lives. It goes for Fury Attack. Please don't do much. Please. Three. Stop. All right, thank you. Thank you. That could have been very bad. Go, Sonic Boom. I don't think Fearos have Quick Attack, so I was fine. I was fine. And I get a shit ton of experience yet again. And down goes Mitch. Not ready yet. No, your Pokemon are not ready. You also don't have enough money for my tastes. My bird Pokemon need to learn better moves. Sure, that's the problem. Let's keep going. We'll head down here where we can fight this guy. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? Yes, yes I have. You'll be able to soar with it into the sky. He rhymed. I'm not sure I like that. Another bird trainer, as you might expect. Marlin has a Spearow. I still have Q. We're gonna go for, you know, Shockwave should still be fine. It's a little higher level, but I think it'll be fine. I did heal Cube a little bit, used a Super Potion on it. I went back and bought more Super Potions just in case this kind of thing happened, which then inevitably it did. And he has a Doduo as well. I'm not gonna mess around with the Doduo. Doduo, you get, you get a full on spark. That extra five power is gonna make all the difference. Down goes the Doduo. Should get a level up off of that. Doduos get you more. Yeah, they're, they're deemed better and therefore you get more. Up to level 34, more special defense. I mean, it's something, it's something, more speed. I always need more speed. Firo coming in. Should be fine. Should be fine. Go Spark. Come on, now that we have that one extra. It, it wasn't even close. I think Firo's higher level. And it's got a growl. Good for you. I have a Sonic Boom. Uh, never misses, I believe, and always does 20 damage, which is more than you have. Give me all that experience. And down goes Marlin. Shot down in flames. Indeed you were. Give me your money. And what do you have to say for yourself? Bird Pokemon are my one true love. I don't want to raise anything else. And I will always suck. How you doing? They have TMs on sale at Celadon Department Store. TMs aren't really rare, but not many people have HMs. Like, it's kind of weird that he tells us this now. There's no way I can get here without going through Celadon, is there? Bird Keeper Beck would like to fight. There might be. There might be, but it, it'd be weird. Like, I have to get the Poke Fruit and all that. He's got a Pidgeotto. I've got a Cube. Go Spark. Got so many bird trainers around here. Oh, come on. Come on. Stay paralyzed. 
Nope, it's got a gust. Well, that doesn't do too much damage, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I'm still upset that it lived. All right, Sonic Boom will finish you off. Do the 20 damage. Make sure it dies. Give me that chunk of experience. And he's about to use a Fero. Should be fine against it. It does do more damage because it uses, you know, Fury attack. But we'll see what a Spark can do. Can I get a critical? No, I cannot. Super effective still, but not enough. And incoming Fury attack, but it misses. All right, finish it off with a Sonic Boom. That is far less than 20 HP that you have left. And I get over a thousand for that. Not quite enough for a level up though. And down goes Beck. In the time of chimpanzees, he was a monkey. Ah, oh, bummer. That is an old reference, but honestly, I don't know any new Beck songs. I don't know any new ones. Try teaching Pokemon a move that's the same type as it. Oh, thank you for like level three advice. That apparently boosts the power of the move. But the, I don't think they went over that before. This, this is one of the things. Like the game has such a deep battle mechanic that they don't really bother explaining in the game sometimes. And we are on Route 14, so get another patch of Pokemon that I can possibly get later on. But for the... Oh, good God, look at all of them. For the time being, we're going to stay on this side. How you doing, buddy? Have you heard the legend of the Winged Mirages? I have not, actually. Birdkeeper Donald would like to battle, though. He's got Farfetch'd out front. Uh, Farfetch'd is a bad Pokemon. It is, I believe, a normal flying type as well, and of the four normal flying types, it's the worst. It is just the absolute worst. It's level 33, though, so I'll give it some respect and use a spark, but I think the Sonic Boom should do it as well. It does not have good stats. Oh, it's actually stronger than I thought, but it's still not good. Knock off! It doesn't do very much damage. We can finish it off with this shockwave, though. Down it goes. Just down it goes. Farfetched. Not good. Not good. Don't, don't use a farfetched. It's terrible. Down goes Don Donald. Couldn't even give me that level up. Why? Why'd I lose? I did heal cube just in case, because I wasn't sure, but no, it's not good. Oh, the winged mirages are the legendary bird Pokemon. I think this is the first, we first we've heard of the legendary bird per Pokemon. There are three of them, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. And I thought I was so insanely clever when I was a kid figuring out that it it's Uno, Dos, Trace. Like Artic Uno, Zap, Dos, Moltres. I thought I was so clever. Then everybody else knew it too. Let's keep going. Down here we can find this guy. How you doing? I'm not into it, but okay, let's go. Ah, do you have a headache or something? You know they sell condoms with aspirin now. Birdkeeper Benny would like to battle. He has a Spiro. So I have Q. It's a little higher level, but I still think that uh, my Shockwave should do it. Honestly, being evolved is more important than your levels at this point, which is why I'm very concerned about the end of the game and what Pokemon I have and what will live, hopefully all of them. Hey, look, two special attacks. That is what I want, up to 49. Still not that great, but I'll take it. I will take it and hopefully with that increase, I can take out the fear out. See, why would you have two level 29 and only one got it to evolve? That I don't understand. Like it's trying to figure out like stat comparisons at max level I don't I don't know I don't know I get a thousand experience though so that's something up to level 35 same as Mr. Jensen now I knew it when you're not in the mood things go bad for you no and what do you have to say for yourself winning losing it's insignificant under this huge sky you can't take the sky from him uh, here, though, we can find another berry. You can see it there. It is a pinup berry, which I don't think we have seen before. If we have, I've forgotten about it, which is entirely possible as well. Pinup berry? No, we haven't seen it before. It can be ground up into a powder as an ingredient for medicine. Fantastic. Uh, now, uh, I could go up here to the patch of grass through all these biker dudes, but I'm going to save that for another time. I want to get through the route today. I bet this is a double battle. Kiri, here we go. We have to try hard. Indeed you do. And it is a double battle time with twins Kiri and Jan. 
they have a Charmander and Squirtle because they have apparently been talking to Black to, to the Black Market Professor Oak. All right, I have Mr. Gentine Cube out there because I don't really want to mess around here. Uh, Psychic on Charmander. I don't want to use, you know, a uh, a ground type because then it'll hit everybody else. So that's the reason that Fuzini's not here. All right, and then a Spark on Squirtle, and we'll see what we can do. It used Protect. Are you kidding me? Cube used Spark, but. You know, Squirtle protected itself. Mr. Jensen uses Psychic. And down goes the Charmander. It doesn't matter if it's super effective or not. Mr. Jensen is just that good. 200 experience and a level up for Mr. Jensen. Up to level 36. Oh, look at those stats. 2 and 2. Up to 86 special attack. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? All right. We'll go for Psychic and a Spark. A Shockwave. Oh, unless it goes for Protect again. This is why I didn't want to go for Spark. I hate, I hate Protect. It's just a stall tactic, right? It doesn't do anything. It just wastes my PP. That's all it does. It does have occasional uses in multiplayer, but really... Wow, okay. Apparently Squirrel is not as strong as some of the birds that we fight. Down goes Squirrel. Really, it should be a war total by now anyway. Give me the experience. I will take it. And down go the twins. Kirin Jan. That, that'll teach you for talking to Oak on the black market. Eh, no fair. Give me your pittance of money. That is not worth it.